And in an innovative solution to the persistent issue of cigarette butts littering local beaches, researchers in Italy have introduced Vero, a robotic dog designed to tackle the problem. Equipped with advanced AI technology, Vero identifies cigarette butts on the ground and efficiently collects them using vacuum cleaners attachments on each of its four legs. Take a look. This is Vero, or vacuum cleaner equipped robot. It's a robot dog that uses AI to identify cigarette butts on the ground and suck them up with vacuum cleaner attachments on each foot. Vero's developers hope it's the solution to one of the world's most pressing environmental problems. I, I thought, why not place the feet in a good way that while you're going, you're doing something useful. We can quite easily distinguish what are cigarette butts, for example, and that's just a start. Dr. Claudio Semini is part of the design team at the Italian Institute of Technology in Genoa. The Vero robot <clears throat> is really born out of a, a, almost a frustration of seeing how people are just flicking away and just leaving the cigarette butts on the beach in the small alleys. And these are places where uh, machines can't access, like let's say, the, the cleaning vehicles that can clean the roads very efficiently and the squares on these little uh, hard to access areas, there must be a different way because if people need to pick them up by hand, one by one, this is obviously not a solution. Vero uses a camera system and an algorithm to recognize its targets and plan a route. The team says it's successfully collected approximately 90% of cigarette butts in diverse environments. But Semeni says it can also help in removing other objects and larger litter. Later on, it can be bottle caps or small pieces of plastic. Uh, whatever you can train the, the neural network to recognize can be then sucked up. They can make a statistics of how much litter is there in which area. And if it finds bigger uh, objects like bottles and um, cartons of, of pizza, and whatever we find here in Genoa on the beach in these months when it's nice weather, then um, it, it can mark that and later on either a, a human team or a different robot team can go and, and, and collect those sort of bigger items.